Dear friends, how are you? Today we are going to discuss how to configure a uh, router on a stick by using SCL Cloud. We will use this topology to perform our lab. Here we have a switch. We will create three different VLANs on this switch. These two pieces will be in VLAN 10. These two pieces will be in VLAN 20 and these two pieces will be in VLAN 30. All VLANs will be terminated on will be created on this switch and we will create a single link between this router and this switch. We will uh, uh, create uh, sub interfaces on this switch. We will assign the IP addresses on this router. Here we will also um, uh, create uh, three different DHCP servers in order to provide IP addresses to each of these end users. So guys, let's start. First we will link these end terminals to the switch. We will use first five ports of uh, this switch for VLAN 10 and second five ports of this switch for VLAN 20 and third five ports of the switch for VLAN 30. We will connect the PC5 on port 6 of the switch. Similarly, this PC on port 7. Here we are going to connect the PCs of VLAN 30. We will connect the 48th port of the switch with the gig 00 of the router. Now let's start with the switch. System view. First, we will create VLANs VLAN 10, 20, and 30 on this switch. Okay, now let's uh, name this switch as switch or SW host name SW. VLAN 10 name IT department quit VLAN 20 name HR department VLAN 30 name um, Finance. Quick, we have three VLANs on this switch now. We will assign ports to these VLANs as we have two users of VLAN 10 in first five ports of the switch. So, interface range gigabit to gigabit. Is 
रेंज गीगाबाइट सिक्स टू गीगाबाइट टेन पोर्ट लिंक टाइप एक्सेस पोर्ट एक्सेस वीलेन ट्वेंटी इंटरफेस रेंज गीगाबाइट इलेवन टू गीगाबाइट फिफ्टीन पोर्ट लिंक टाइप एक्सेस पोर्ट एक्सेस वी लैन थर्टी क्विट इंटरफेस गीगाबाइट फोर्टी एट पोर्ट लिंक टाइप ट्रंक पोर्ट ट्रंक परमिट वीलैन टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी वी हैव डन आवर स्विट्स कंफिग्रेशन सेव आवर कंफिग्रेशन ओके नाउ वी विल move ahead for our routers configuration system view host name router first we will create uh, sub interfaces on our gig 0/0 for our three vlans we have uh, inter interface and shutdown interface gig 0 0 Which is the VLAN ID? Sub interface has changed up to change the state to up. Now we will assign an IP address on this sub interface. In order to assign the IP address on this interface, we have to enable dot one Q on this sub interface. So we have. VLAN type dot one Q VID ten IP address one nine two one six eight ten dot one Similarly, we will. Create an other sub interface on gig zero slash zero. IP address one nine two one six eight twenty dot one. We will assign this IP network to our VLAN twenty interface gigabit thirty VLAN type one Q thirty. IP address one nine two one six eight thirty dot one. Now we will uh, create uh, DHCP servers for these VLANs. So first we have to enable DHCP. Enable DHCP server IP pool ID. 
me and network 192.168.10.0 and the subnet mask is 255.255 this is mask 255.255 gateway list we will assign the gateway ip here as well which is 10.1 address range 192.168.10.101.200 dhcp Server IP pool HR and we will assign network one nine two one six eight twenty dot zero with subnet mask two five five two five. This is the mask and now gateway list 192.168.20.1 address range is 192.168.20.101.200 DHCP Server IP pool finance network one nine two one six eight thirty dot zero mask two five five two five five get released one nine two one six eight thirty one address range Now we will check whether our end users are capable of getting IP addresses from the DHCP server or not. Okay, let me restart this PC. No, we leave this. We can see that our end user has been assigned an IP address of 192.168.10.101, which is the address range starting IP address of the address range. And this is the second IP address. Similarly, 
the IP address has been assigned to the VLAN 20 and the end user of VLAN 30. As all the VLANs are connected to a single interface of the router, they are which is directly connected to the router, that is why router should be capable of communicating the IP addresses connected directly to the router. System view sorry ping 192.168.30. Dot. Yes, you can see that I can ping all the users of different VLANs. So guys, this is the way how you can make uh, users of different VLAN to communicate with each other by using in a single router on a single link. We also call this terminology as router on a stick and in this way you create some interfaces on the router for each interface represents the user of each VLAN in the network or on the switch. I hope you have understood the main theme of the uh, today's lab. If you have any query, you can ask me in my uh, comment section. Thank you.